In this video, I'm going to show you guys three linear equations and you'll see the difference between all these threes and they have different response. Pay attention to the special, the more strange cases. And you see all the left hand side are actually the same. I'm making it on purpose. Anyways, let's look at the first one. We have negative three times the parentheses, two X minus four inside, and this is equal to 12 plus two X. What should we do first? Whenever we have an equation and if there's a parentheses, we take care of that first. In this case, we have the negative three in front, right? So take the negative three, distribute into the parentheses and work it out. Negative three times two X, that's negative six X. Negative three times negative four, that will give us positive 12. And the right hand side should stay the same, right? Because we didn't do anything with it. 12 plus two X. So the first point, whenever we have a parentheses in the equation, distribute the number in front into the parentheses, especially when there's no power, but that's for later on. So this is what we have now. And we also see the trouble because we have X on both sides, right? And we have numbers on both sides as well. Let's have an agreement. Let's be consistent. Consistency is the key. Let's move all the X from the right hand side to the left hand side. And let's move all the numbers from the left hand side to the right hand side. Collect all the X on the left and then have all the numbers on the right. That's all. Consistency is the key, even though it doesn't really matter which one you want to put the X and then the number. But let's do it this way. With that being said, I want to move the 2X to the left hand side. So this is plus 2X, right? Let's subtract 2X so that this and that will cancel. That's the goal, right? That's the purpose. And then I want to move the number from the left to the right. This is positive 12, so that's minus 12, so that this and that will cancel. And that's also minus 12 here. And you notice right here I line out the x terms. Right here I line out with the number terms. That's also really important as well. Okay, let's continue. Negative 6x minus 2x, we get what? That's negative 8. And then we still have the x term, right? And this is equal to 12 minus 12. We happen to get 0. And you see, we have negative 8x is equal to 0. And can we solve this? Sure, because this is negative 8 times x. We are just going to divide this by negative 8 here. And we'll also divide this by negative 8 here, right? This and that will cancel. And you see x is equal to 0 divided by a number. And this is negative 8. We get 0. In this case, we do have an answer. The answer to this equation is 0. And that's it. And now let's look at this one. Negative 3 times the parentheses, 2x minus 4 inside, and then this time we have this equal to 2 minus 6x. So let's go ahead, distribute, distribute, just like what we did over there, right? Here we get negative 6x plus 12, and this is 2 minus 6x. Now what? I want to collect all the x to the left and then all the numbers on the right. Let's get rid of this. This is minus 6x, so I'm going to add 6x here, and this will cancel. That's the purpose. And I have to do the same thing right here, and line up though, the x terms. And then this is plus 12, so let's subtract 12 here, so that they will cancel, and then that's minus 12 here. So let's see what happens right here. Negative 6x plus another 6x, we get what? Right here, we get zero. And you can put on zero x, but it doesn't matter. Just put on zero, it's fine. On the right hand side, this is equal to two minus 12, and we get what? This is going to give us negative 10. Zero is equal to negative 10. Is this true? No, right? And you see, we don't have any more x. You can put on 0x, but then that means we have no x anymore, right? So what would be the response to this? 
this right here is a false statement, right? This equation is not solvable because it has no solution. So right here, when you have something that doesn't make sense, in this case, we have 0 is equal to any number that's not 0, <laughs> this right here, we know the original equation has no solutions, okay? No solution is the response to this. This 0 is equal to negative 10, this doesn't make sense, so you can you know, get rid of that. No solution. That's the answer. Let's look at this one. So, of course, distribute this into the parentheses, and then we will have negative 6x, negative 3 times negative 4, that's positive 12, and then this is equal to 12 minus 6x. And now, let's move all the x from the right to the left. So I want to get rid of this right here. I have to add a 6x here so that they will cancel. Well, on the left-hand side, I also have to add 6x, right? I want to get rid of this number on the left-hand side. This is positive 12, so let's subtract 12 here. This one that will cancel. And I also have to minus 12 here. So that's pretty much all the work, right? And now let's take a look. Here we have negative 6x plus 6x. That is 0, just like what happened over there. However, in this case, on the right-hand side, we have 12 minus 12. It's also what? This is also 0. We have 0 is equal to 0. Well, is this no solution? This right here was no solution because we had 0 is equal to negative 10, which it didn't make sense. But of course, 0 is equal to 0. When we end up with a true statement, we are going to end up with infinitely many solutions. So, this is the third possibility that we may have. Infinitely many SOL stands for solution, alright? Infinitely many solutions. And sometimes we can also write this down as all real numbers, okay? That means x can be any row numbers, and you can make this equation to work. So in conclusion, sometimes you may have exactly one answer when you're solving a linear equation, right? Just like this. This right here, we do have that one answer. Sometimes you may end up with no solution. At the end, you can also have, well, infinitely many solutions, and x can be any real number. These are the three cases. Hope this video helps you, and I'll see you guys soon. Okay. That's it.